Hey, my name's Katie. I'm with Diesel Laptops. I'm going to show you how to install the e-truck today. Um, first, we're going to make our credentials on the e-truck uh, portal website. So we're going to head over there. This is where you go to e-truck-workshop.texa.com. That will be the website that you use to register. You will come to a screen, and down at the bottom, very bottom, it says sign up. You're going to click that. And the, one of the first things that it asks for is your serial number. The serial number is located on the back of your TXT box. And it usually starts with a DNR number. Um, then it's going to ask for your text ID. And here we're showing you where to find that. You're going to open up IDC5, go into the truck module, and up there near the, <clears throat> or beside the exit, button there's the version that you're on if you click on that it brings you to a window that shows you your text ID down at the bottom left of that window type that in and then type all your other information in here this is the email and everything that you're going to use to log in every time to see your trucks to see your fleet to see everything else that you have assigned to this and make sure that you do click I have read and accept the privacy policy and then you click sign up alright so now we're gonna set up the apps on the phones so on your Android or iOS device whatever you're gonna go to the Play Store or the um, iTunes App Store and from there I just search for Texa um, and it will come up with the black and that is the driver app that you need to download you may have to scroll a bit, but then it'll come down to the green workshop app that you need to install the actual e-truck to the trucks. So now we are going to open up the green app, which is the workshop app that we use to install. And it brings you to the installation page here. And we are going to start a new session. From there, it gives us all of the rundown of what we have to do. We're going to say start new session. And this is where you're going to log in with the credentials that you have made. Here you're going to start the installation by clicking the green button at the bottom. And the next page it brings you to, you're going to select the fleet that you created when you created your sign-in. Okay, so one of the steps is that you have to take a picture with the on-screen camera here. And what you're going to do is you're going to look for the QR code that is on the side of the dongle itself. And just line it up. Make sure the QR code gets in the red box there. So now we have to connect it to the actual truck. And here's where you're entering all the personal information of the truck. So the license plate number, I'm just making something up, but you will have to use what is on the license plate. Another thing is to make sure that the miles, the odometer, is correctly put in. And the registration date, that is not anything to do with the truck, but rather the day that you're registering the truck here. So it's going to be the day that you're doing it. Other than that, just make sure all of the information that you select is correct. Um, it could come back and make things look a little wonky when, you're, when you actually have installed everything. So just make sure everything looks good. And it's going to ask you if you want to confirm it. Just look over everything. Just make sure it's correct again. Here it's going to do a software update. And this does take a little bit of time. Do try to keep it as close to the dongle as you can. Just to make sure it doesn't lose any connection. Once the installation is completed, it's going to go through some checks. And this, again, does take some time. Um, but it will finally go through with it all. Um, and then you're good to go. At this point, you can log back into the ePortal, which is the eTruck-workshop.texa.com.
and you will be able to see that now you have an active vehicle over here to the left there's your active vehicle if you click on that it shows you it shows the truck that you entered all the information on and then if you click into that it can show you the errors and the services that you've set up it shows you the the dongle that's assigned to it um, and what fleet it's under as well so that is how you install the e-truck Thank you for watching. This is Katie again with Diesel Laptops. If there's anything that you need, questions, comments, concern, you can reach me at 888-983-1975, option 2 for tech support, and the entire tech support is more than happy to answer any questions or any issues that you may have.